you know, man, your dreams have to be bigger than all your fears. If you get, see, that's why you have to have big dreams. Because your dreams have to be bigger than all your fears and all your consequences. What makes people go back is you dream too small. See, your problem in life ain't if you aim too high and you miss it. Your problem in life is if you aim too low and you hit it. That's, you messed up now. So when you aim to the moon and you miss, you still amongst the stars. So it kind of keeps you motivated a lot longer, man, to help you push through. Because everybody's gonna have to have a push through moment. Because everybody has a turn back moment. The key to making it is you can never turn back. Sometimes you have to cry. Sometimes life will take you to your knees. But the pain opens spaces in the heart for joy. Somebody said about life, I love this. Says, life is like an onion. You, you have to peel it one layer at a time. And sometimes you cry. <laughs> this author said about life, life is a challenge. Meet it. Life is a gift. Accept it. Life is an adventure. Dare it. One of the things that we know about life is that it is always changing. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Sometimes things go real well, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes you're happy, and sometimes you're sad. Now that's that thing called life. And when we begin to understand and know that, accepting that reality that, that we will never ever have things just on an even kill all the time, that you're gonna have some ups and you're gonna have some downs. But during those down moments, that's where the growth takes place. That's where the work is. See, anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid, they have happy relationships, the children are acting normal. <laughs> Business is successful. Anybody could be positive then. Anybody can have a larger vision then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. Am I correct? Yes. See, but the real challenge, the real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. Somebody said that, that adversity introduces a man to himself or a woman. How you handle it, that's where the growth takes place. When I was facing some challenges, I had a guy say something to me and I suggest this is one of the first things that you want to do when you're facing a challenge, you want to get unstuck. Evaluate where you are. Look at it, assess yourself. Assess yourself and assess the situation. What brought you there? What role did you play? Earl Nightingale had a saying I like. He said, all of us are self-made, but only the successful will admit it. <laughs> what has brought you to this point? What did you learn from it? Are you learning anything? Or are you doing it over and over and over again? Somebody said that insanity is doing the same thing in the same way, expecting a different outcome. <laughs> Are you going through it or are you growing through it? Are you bigger and better because of it? Because it's not going to leave you until you grow through it. When you ask God for something, God boxes it up, put your name on it, and he ships it the day you ask for it. Soon as you ask for it, he ships it. The problem with the package is he never tells you the date that it's going to arrive. If he did that, it would destroy the one element that he requires, your faith. So God sends your package, but he only delivers to Faith Street. If you step off of Faith Street and you go over here to I Don't Believe It Boulevard, he don't ship there. If you step over here to I Don't See How Avenue, he don't ship there. If you step over here to Ain't No Way Circle, he don't ship there. The package only goes to Faith Street. What happens to the average person is that when the package arrives and you ain't on Faith Street, 
It's just like the post office and FedEx, UPS. If you ain't there, the package got to go back. You know how many packages you got in heaven with your name on it that got sent back? This real talk, man. This is, this is how it works. Being successful, y'all, is not a magic trick. You have to learn the principles of success. You can be successful at anything. You really can, man. I don't have no education. I'm not really like uh, school smart, none of that. And I got a lot of people work for me, got degrees. See, when I don't, when I don't know something, I, I pay somebody to know it. Just come stay around here. I come down here and do the gift. I keep telling the jokes. I'm telling you, God has an incredible life for you. All you got to do is ask him for it. Be willing to put in the work. But now this work part is hard. Success is hard. But let me ask you a question. Ain't not being successful hard too? So now which hard you want? You want the hard with some options and some benefits? Or you want the hard where ain't nothing going on? I'm going to take the hard with the option and benefits. Give me that hard. Let me try that.